This video will guide you to configure and use CA Anti-Phishing feature at its best. CA Anti-Phishing feature informs you of the website's performance and protections rating. In this new version, Data Protection feature is combined in the My Identity feature. To open CA Security Center, from the Start menu, select All Programs, CA, CA Internet Security Suite, and CA Security Center. Double-click on the CA icon on the taskbar at the bottom right, or right-click on the CA icon on the taskbar and select Home. Click on the My Internet panel. Then click on Update Settings. Select the Web Protection sub-tab. Note that there is no Advanced Settings option as CA simplifies this feature. It no longer shows the rating for links in email clients. This enhances their performance but still protects your email with the anti-malware feature. When you click on the link in an email, the CA Anti-Phishing will work on the Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox browser. Let's see this in Outlook or Word. Say you received an email with a link in it. There is no link advisor that is showing the rating of that website anymore. But when you click on the link, it opens the browser and CA Anti-Phishing is working on the browser. Click on the cross if you need to disable CA Anti-Phishing. Click on the tick again to enable CA Anti-Phishing toolbar. And click on Apply to save the changes. Let's see how the CA Anti-Phishing works on Internet Explorer. Let's make sure that CA Anti-Phishing toolbar is visible on the browser. If you have enabled the CA Anti-Phishing feature in CA Security Center, but the toolbar is not showing in the browser, check whether the toolbar is enabled or not. Right-click on the menu bar of the browser. Select CA Anti-Phishing toolbar from the menu. Click on the Enable button. You can see that the CA toolbar is now showing at the top left. Let's try to search something. Type in the search keyword, then press enter or click search. The first link is showing as high risk with the red CA icon next to it. The second link is considered as a safe site with the green CA icon. The third link is being analyzed by the CA toolbar. Therefore, the icon is not yet showing as red or green. Normally, this will just take two seconds, but it depends on your internet connection speed. Let's try to click on the first link. The CA block page will advise you that this is an unsafe website it is being categorized as malware distribution point. You can choose to go back to your home page or click on proceed to website if you're sure that it's safe to browse that website. Click on the safety level rating. CA Anti-Phishing will advise you whether this site is safe to view or interact with or not. Click on close. Choose the rating, whether it's a safe, medium risk, or high risk site. For example, let's report this site as safe. Click on Submit. The request will be analyzed by eSoft to decide whether this site's ratings need to be changed or not. Let's open a Google page. To check the version of CA Anti-Phishing, click on the CA icon on the toolbar. The CA Anti-Phishing will be updated seamlessly should the update be available. Click on OK to close the information window. Click on the safety level. C informs that this site is safe to access and to send personal information. Click on Close. Click on the My Identity button to open My Identity section in My Internet. To identify the personal information you want to protect, click on My Identity. This feature is further explained in the My Internet walkthrough video. Close the CA Security Center. You can access the Help section by clicking on the question mark button on CA Anti-Phishing Toolbar.